Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about complexity, the future, and React. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, is there a future for complex application development in React? Or is that mostly mobile development and backend development? And the short answer is, how could I possibly answer something that is that subjective? Complexity is already in React or in Frontend if you just look at it from the right perspective. Let me explain. So when you ask the question complexity, like complex application development, what do you actually mean? Because complexity is in many things. Is complexity that you use a sophisticated algorithm to figure out if it's going to rain tomorrow? Is complexity that you use a, I don't know, a web scraper to index the internet so that you can create a search engine? Is complexity that you create a graphical interface that does something very nice in, say, WebAssembly and makes people happy in a computer game or something like that? What do you mean? What, do, what does complexity mean? You see, if, from my perspective, if you look at it correctly, I would say that the complexity of front-end is so enormous at this point that most standard back-end applications have no way of competing with that complexity. None. Depending on how you look at it, because if you look at how much you need to know and learn in order to be able to do, say, something like DevOps and deal with infrastructure and application development, scalability, etc., etc., then you might think that that's also extremely complex. And that might be absolutely true. So I don't really know how we're going to answer this, but I will give you my perspective and hopefully you can see my logic behind why I, why I state that it's almost impossible to state w what you mean by complexity. Because if you ask me about mobile development, I, you know, I could just have the opinion and say, well, mobile development, how can you even consider that complex in comparison to doing any type of web work? I mean, it's just a bunch of screens, right? And all you really have to do is to create one of your to use one of your controllers or similar things to wire up some pre-made, pre I mean, if you're working in Xcode, it might just be a few storyboards that you just need to drag and drop together, right? And then that's kind of it, right? In an Android, yeah, there's a bit of XML, but it's not that complicated to make a UI in, in Android, right? And depending on how you look at it, yeah, I will be absolutely correct. But I can also be an ignorant prick, which is what I'm trying to be right now because it is actually a lot more complicated when you actually get down to it. If you're talking about front-end or React in this scenario as something that is not complicated, I would very much challenge that because I have to this day not once seen a large-scale system, like any application of any type of complexity where the code base is nice in front-end, where everything just kind of makes sense, everything kind of works, it's performant, nobody has any problems with it. I've never seen it. And I pr I'm pretty sure that the vast majority of programmers will agree with me that front-end usually has a problem with complexity, a really big problem. And it's not complexity necessarily from the perspective of, okay, we're dealing with some computer science related things here, or we're dealing with something extremely complicated in terms of just logic. We're talking about sustain sustainability. We're talking about scalability. We're talking about making code comprehensive to a large amount of people, making things consistent, all of these sorts of things. These are the challenges of front-end development. Now, if you want, I can push it one further and I can say, well, there are actually quite a few projects in front-end, such as online games and so forth, that use things such as, say, WebGL, or, well, some of them are going to start using WebAssembly. Depending on how you look at it, well, that is front-end related. It may not be React related necessarily, but it's still a very complicated topic to actually get that onto the web. If you have a look at certain online tools such as, I think it's Figma, which is a, a browser-based design tool, well, that's a fairly complicated system as well. It all comes down to your perspective. And if you look at backend as an example, well, if all you're doing is building a CRUD application, like that's not very complicated. What, you need a database? 
a server, some endpoints, and that's about it. But you can also have a look at it from the perspective, oh, okay, well, our backend system, as I said, oh, well, it's the Google, I don't know, the Google search engines backend systems. They have many, many, many of those. Is that complicated? Well, yeah, I would say that, that that's very complicated. So it comes down to, as I said, how do you look at this term, complexity? Because if you look at it from the perspective that you're kind of dismissing anything that isn't your personal definition of what complicated actually means, such as, oh, the only thing that I consider to be a problem to solve is the execution time of an algorithm. Well, yeah, no, then maybe you're gonna have to uh, stick with, I don't know, Python and computer science maybe, or C and embedded systems or something like high performance type of things, because that's probably where the only, like your definition of complexity is gonna stay. But if you are actually open to the idea that, you know, just because something doesn't fit into your sphere of what is considered to be complicated, that doesn't mean that it's not a problem. Because trust me when I say this, Frontend and JavaScript and like React and all of these communities, they have, we have a really big problem with dealing with complexity. It's just another form of complexity that may not exist in a very niche type of definition of complexity, but it's for sure there. And if you can solve that, you will be praised just as much as if you were to solve a performance issue on the back end or something like that. So what I want you to take away from this is that when we're asking the question, is there a future for com complicated programming in front end or in React and so forth, I will argue that we are already there today. There is a future for compli solving complicated matters already today. We're already trying to figure out how to solve the problems that we have today. It's, there's, that's not gonna end. And if you're asking, all right, are there going to be more of these heavy computations and these sorts of things going to the client? It's very possible because we have started adding more and more weight to our client side code. And I don't see that changing anytime soon because we're actually creating richer and richer applications. It's not most likely all that long until you're going to see some fairly serious programming being done in the front end. We've already in the past five, 10 years moved from that a almost full-time designer can build like a, like a professional grade uh, um, web page to having today people that are basically just more and more focused on the coding because there's more and more code going into the front end layer. And I want to end by saying that your definition of complexity is the key thing here because depending on how you look at it, mobile application development can be trivial. Same thing with backend and front-end can be the most complicated thing, but that's just not true. Because if you ask a back-end developer or a mobile application developer or a front-end developer, none of them are going to tell you something like, oh, you know what, everything I do is kind of trivial, everybody can do it. And that's probably true. Have a great day.